hello friends welcome to my channel today i am going to show you how to migrate dscp server in this demo i am going to migrate dscp server from windows server 2008 machine to windows server 2012 machine let's have some idea about my environment currently i am running dscp server on windows server 2008 r2 machine the host name for this server is win2k8 hyphen dscp and the ip address for this machine is 192.168.1.253 I am going to migrate this DSCP server to new DSCP server that have installed operating system Windows Server 2012 R2 and the host name for this machine is Win2K8 Win2K12 DSCP I have assigned IP address to this machine 192.168.1.252 Let's move to the servers just for your information, I have one Active Directory server as well as in my infrastructure that is holding Active Directory, DNS, Active Directory and DNS server roles. And this is my current DSCP server. As you can see. The operating system in this server is Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprises. The host name is Win2K8 TSCP. And this is my second server that is going to be a DSCP server after the migration from the old server. The host name of this server is Win2K12 DSCP. And the IP address is 192.168.1.252. Also, I have one Windows 7 client to verify. IP address settings from DSCP server. Currently, this DSCP server, this DSCP client is getting IP address from 192.168.1.253 server. That is my old DSCP server. DSCP server migration step. First, we need to install DSCP role on our new server. That is Win2K12 DSCP server from add roles so i am going to install dscp server role click on manage add role and features click next leave it default next this is showing the name and the ip address of server and the operating system version as well as click next i am going to check dscp server Yes, I want to add required feature as well as click next, leave with default, next, next and go for the installation. Click on install. It's saying starting installation. You can see ins installation started. It will take few minutes depending on the speed of your server. Installation succeed. Configuration required. I am going to click in complete DSCP configuration. It will take you to DSCP post installation configure wizard. Click next. I am going to use my login account that is DSCP admin to authorize DSCP server in my Active Directory infrastructure. Click on commit. It, it's done. It's Creating security group done. Authorizing DSCP server is also done. So we can close this and this one also. I am going to open DSCP server management console. You can see there was nothing in IBV4. We don't have any scope or any settings for current installed DSCP server. So in next step, we need to export the DSCP database on our old server that is Win2K8 DSCP. So let's move to that server. We are on current DSCP server. I am going to open 
command prompt run as administrator click yes I am going to create one folder in D drive with the name of backup and I am going to type command net sh dhcp server export path of the file backup slash dhcp server all dot TXTP. I am going to use all at last because I am going to export all the settings for my DSCP server. Click hit enter. It's a net I mistake. I am going to type retype it net. It's net as such. Enter. it will take few seconds to complete the command here we are command completed successfully so I am going to share this folder In second step, copy the export data on new server that is Win2 K12 DSCP server. I am on my new DSCP server. I am going to type Win2 K8 DHCP. Hit enter. Here is my backup file that I have exported from my old server. I'm going to copy and paste it to my D drive so we can use it and for now I'm going to click on command prompt admin so it's open the command prompt with the administrative privilege and now I'm going to input DSCP server database on Win2K12 DSCP by using this command net sh DHCP server we need to put a space DSCP server import path of the file D HCP server all dot txt I am going to import all the settings so all hit enter it will take few seconds to complete this command command completed successfully you can verify my windows 7 machine is taking IP address from old DSCP server I am going to disable this DSCP server from the network I am just disabling the NIC for my old DSCP server and now I am going to diagnose this server this client so it will take the DSCP IP address from my new server also I'm going to refresh my DSCP console here so here is my settings my both scopes are migrated to new servers and we can see it's now assigning the IP address on my network and you 
can see it's taking the IP address from new DSCP servers and also you can verify them in address lease thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos thanks once again